How do you solve the quadratic equation 9x squared minus 12x plus 5? Well, the way that always works, no matter what these numbers are, is called the quadratic formula. But if you can factor this quadratic equation, then you're supposed to. The way that I teach that is that we're looking for two numbers that multiply to the same product that these make. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to positive 45. And we want those same numbers to add to give you negative 12. Now, the first numbers that come to my head here are 15 and 3. They multiply to 45. But I can't get them to multiply to a positive if they add to a negative. If they have to add to a negative, one of them has to be negative. And they're multiplying to a positive, so they both have to be negative, apparently. What else multiplies to 45? You got 9 and 5. You've got 1 and 45. Is that it? That's it. Those are the only pairs that multiply to 45. And none of them, if they multiply to positive 45, will add to negative 12, which means you can't factor. Which means the only option is the quadratic formula. Well, you could do other things like completing the square and then using opposite operations, but that sounds like too many steps. The way the quadratic formula works is that the number in front of x squared is a. The number in front of x is b, and here it's negative 12. You've got to take that negative with you. And the number on its own is c. Now, that only works, by the way, if one side of the equation equals 0. If one side doesn't equal 0, it's your job to move everything to one side and make it look like the standard form equation. The quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And your job then is to just plug all these numbers into this formula. Negative b is negative negative 12. You could just write that as positive 12, but I'm going to do it pedantically here. Plus or minus the square root of. Now that b is negative 12. Make sure you put that in brackets squared, especially on your calculator. When you square a negative, you're supposed to get a positive number. Minus 4 times the a value times the c value. Okay. And then divide it all by 2a, 2 nines. Okay, a little bit of math here. Negative negative 12 is 12. That's easy. Negative 12 squared is 144. Negative this is, oh, I see a problem here. Yeah, I have that right. Negative 4 times 5 times 9 is negative 180. We're going to end up with a, the square root of a negative. So 12 uh, plus or minus the root of negative 36. Now, you can't take the square root of a negative. Generally, when you're learning the quadratic formula for the first time, at least that's what the teachers tell you. And so your job here is to say that there is no solution to this. What that means is that if you graphed this, not y equals 9x squared minus 12x plus 5, you'd end up with some parabola that looks like this. And when you say where does it equal 0, you're asking for where it hits the x-axis. And the answer is it doesn't. <laughs> so there is no solution to that equation. If you're in university calculus, you're probably not watching this video, but you actually can take the square root of that. You end up with something called 6i. The square root of 36 is the 6. And then the square root of this negative is this i, which means it's an imaginary number. Then you could reduce the fraction. But let's not go there. Let's instead call it there and say, hey, Sometimes when you use the quadratic equation, there's no real solution to it. If the parabola that you're modeling never hits the x-axis, then the value you get out is never zero. And so there is no solution. There you go. You're welcome. Best of luck.